Alright, so we are back again for Crash Bandicoot 2. Firstly, before we do the next level, I just want to show you a secret. See that polar bear there? Look, watch what happens if you jump on him. Do this ten times. And... and we get extra lives! Legal disclaimer, doing it in real life does not get you lives. The bear will most likely savage you and rip you to pieces. Okay, so let's do bear it. This is a pretty fun level, actually. But it does have a very infamous gem. So, I can crash Bandicoot where you take a ride on a hog. This time you take a ride on Polar, the Polar Bear. And yes, it's another snow level. I mean, I love snow levels, but that is a lot of snow levels. Kind of like have... Okay, here's the part I don't like. Look, you have to try and smash those boxes, but... Uh, it's hard to on the ice. As I was saying, it's kind of like how Crash Bandicoot 1 has a lot of jungle levels. This game has a lot of snow levels. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, it is a pretty infamous part, that bit. It's when you're on the ice, you often, like, skate in one direction and find it really stiff to change. This level is actually not so bad apart from that bit. It's totally belt you've got to worry about. At least I'm getting lives back to make up for the ones I lost. Come on. Ass! Let's try again. They say these things come in threes, so hopefully I've gotten them out of the way now. And this time I'll get lucky. Come on. Come on. Yes! Here's a little hint. Sometimes holding down makes it like easier to turn more sharp. Oh wow, we got the crystal already. Not even halfway in the level. Now watch out for these whales. Gotta kinda have good timing when jumping over them. Ooh, TNT! Nitro! Oh. <laughs> Crash his pants! <laughs> I find some of the death animations here to be pretty funny. Sometimes I like to deliberately kill myself on purpose to see the funny death animation. Okay. On the home stretch now, with an ass load of nitro. Whoa! Okay, now there's another bit coming up which I don't like. There's these three boxes here, and you have to be very sharp. Oh, shit. I find it kind of funny that whenever you die, the bear's always able to survive. And he just leaves Crash to die. Aside from that, the level's pretty easy, but it's the gem that's kind of tough to get. God, you've got to have really sharp reflexes there. And then, the polar bear just bucks Crash off. So let's see, 48 boxes. Is that? Yes, it's the jam. Alright, glad I got that one out of the way. Now, there are quite a lot of snow levels in this game, as I said before. There's three of those like snow go levels, three chase levels, and three bear levels. So that makes about nine snow levels. So I want to do something different now. Let's go to the eel deal. This is a pretty good level. And it also has one of my favourite songs in the game. 
This is a sewer level. With these pipe work and water being shot by electric eels. Guess that's why it's called the eel deal. So, you gotta use these platforms, but if you're on them for too long, they'll sink, so beware. And we've also got spiky rats. Interesting. And I hear something else interesting. You come to a fort. If you take the right pipe, you see loads of nitro there, and you're thinking, hang on a minute, why on earth would they put loads of nitro in such a random place like that? And there's a reason, because if you go through here, what? There's a secret? I remember when I first discovered that, I just like, went that way for shits and giggles to see if it led anywhere, and I was shocked when I found I could jump through there. <laughs> so, this bit, you gotta do a series of platform jump, but don't step in the water when it's being shocked. Otherwise, you'll get quite an electric shock there. And, yay, we've got another coloured gem! But if you think you can jump through there and exit the level, no, you can't do that. So it's backtracking time. I remember when I first did it, I tried like jumping it there for like a few minutes in hope that I'd be able to escape from the level. But much to my dismay, I had to do backtracking. And this is kind of dangerous because you got the electric eel water and you got loads of nitros. You have to tread very carefully. Like exit from the left, otherwise you'll come into contact with the nitros. And we're through the worst of it now. And we've got the green gem. Yay! Aside from that, this level's relatively stress-free. And has a pretty easy box gem to get. Oh, we've got a bonus coming up now. Now this one doesn't have that many boxes and it's pretty easy. Got a load of boxes to smash there. And more of these bouncy thingies. Oh, I see the sound's going out of sync. Oh well, I did my best to sync it. There we go. We've got a couple of lives in the process, so I guess that was worth it. Watch out for these propellers. Now here's something kind of funny. If you go to the left, there's a dead end. But that's where you get the crystal. So technically you do have to go to the right, but... If you don't go left, if you just go right first, you'll miss the crystal. That's kind of dodgy. But, it shouldn't be too hard to find, because it's got the Wumper Fruit Trail leading to the left. You'd think the electric eel water would destroy the nitros, and eh? I was being a bit careless there. Yeah, you'd think after it was shot, the nitro would just explode. Eh, who am I to question the logic of video games? Four slams. There we go. Now we go down here for a series of monkey bars or rail grids or whatever you'd like to call them. This is the first crash game to introduce these. Now the controls are pretty simple. You just move around. X drops you off. You're pressing X drops you off. The square button does your spin attack and the circle button that's crash crouch like this. Yeah. Unfortunately, Wrath of Cortex took this same concept and downgraded it. Because Crash goes so slow. But that's it. They get harder in hanging out. There's just a series of robots to get past now. You can't kill them, so don't bother with it. 
And another gem! It's so shiny! Uh, I think that's all the time we've got for today. Next time we're going to be doing the final level of this warp room, and then the boss. But we've got another coloured gem! Got three out of the five coloured gems already. I'm making pretty good progress here so far. So let's save our game, because we don't want to lose all that, do we? <laughs> That's actually a pretty funny image there. Sometimes it can have funny images. Alright, so I'll see you next time for the next part of Crash Bandicoot 2 playthrough.